Hello and uh, in this particular video, I would like to discuss on uh, the strategy for general science and uh, science and technology. In fact, that is another uh, crucial component in our civil service preparation. Of course, uh, many arts graduates find it a bit difficult because of the fear about the science, otherwise it is not that difficult because we are not uh, you know, supposed to study anything beyond maybe 10th standard level in science uh, the rest is all general knowledge, kind of a layman's understanding of some science. We are not supposed to know uh, the intricacies of science, but still many people are afraid of it, that is because of the self-created fear about the subject. So, uh, the topic is on general science and uh, science and technology. general science and science and technology. So, when you, when you look at this, uh, you know, again, we will have to see from the uh, both the perspective, the preliminary perspective, the main exam perspective. So, from the preliminary perspective, if you are looking, uh, you know, if you look at the last many years of question papers, at least four or five years consistently, we can say 13 to 15 ma questions out of 100 can be asked from science and science and technology. Some of them may look like current affairs, but we can, we should be prepared for around 15 questions from science and science. So, it is a good, good area. We need to score marks. We cannot leave it uh, just like that. Then when it comes to the main exam, so this is coming in paper 3 again. That is where uh, you know the uh, paper 3 including technology, it is when technology, economic development, biodiversity, environment, security, <coughs> disaster management, everything is there. So, paper 3 is where science and technology is mentioned. Nowadays, we are getting normally around 3 questions, one in the 10 marks category and two in 15 marks category. So, total comes to around 40 marks. So, science and technology, the overall weightage in the main exam is only around 40 marks. So, it may become 40, may become 50, not more than that. So, uh, accordingly, we will have to prepare. So, uh, and in fact, you know, if you, uh, you know, if you look at that, most of these questions are related to the current developments. But in preliminary point of view, we need general science, life science, every day, uh, you know, uh, application of science, that is very important in the preliminary point of view. So, that is how the questions are being asked. Now, if you look at the syllabus, see, uh, in preliminary exam, if you look at the syllabus, syllabus mentions that, uh, you know, simply only one thing general science is mentioned in general science. No further mention about uh, anything in the syllabus. So, this general science, what is expected is what is mentioned in 6th to 10th NCRT, which we all of us studied, which is more than sufficient, but it is quite wide. I will talk about that when you look at it. But otherwise, 6th to 10th uh, is more than sufficient. But when it comes to the main exam, the syllabus is slightly more elaborate. Let us talk about the main exam the main exam. Now, the syllabus says science and technology development and their application effects in everyday life. So, science and technology in everyday life. So, development and its application and effects in everyday life. So, that is one. Number two, achievements of Indians in Indi science and technology. So, India in science and technology. Then indigenization of technology and developing new technology. So, indigenization of technology. So, achievements in science and technology, indigenization of technology, then awareness in the field of. Now, 
Uh, other than that, so India in science and technology, indigenization of science and technology and all, now there are some more areas clearly mentioned. One is uh, in, this, in this field of IT, information technology, space, computer, robotics, nanotechnology, okay, robotics, nanotechnology. Biotechnology and issues related to IPR, intellectual property rights. So, specifically mentioned IT, space, computer, robotics, nanotech, biotech and IPR. Even there is no mention about nuclear tech, but nuclear technology is very important. Even last year there was a question on nuclear technology. So, we cannot ignore that. So, these are, this is how the syllabus is mentioned. So, so science and technology in everyday life, so Indians or India in science and technology or Indians in science and technology, indigenization of the technology, then awareness about IT, space, computer, robotics, nanotechnology, biotechnology, intellectual property rights. So, that is what is mentioned in the main uh, syllabus. And if you look at the previous year questions in the main exam, main exam questions. So, uh, you know, Bose Einstein statistics. See, this was you know, this is clearly asked after the Higgs boson. See, the announcement by Boson, by the, the uh, you know, the European labs that, you know, they have uh, discovered, the, they have proved that there is the existence of Higgs boson particles. So, what is Bose Einstein strategy? It was in news, very much in news in 2018, that is why this, so this is a 2018 question. Very much in news. Then, why is there so much activity in the field of biotechnology in our country? So, question on biotechnology and biopharma. Biotech and biopharma. A third question is, with growing energy needs, should we, uh, should India keep on expanding its nuclear energy program? You see, 2018 nuclear energy program. question on nuclear energy, with the facts and fears associated with nuclear energy. Very good. So, three questions. See, what we can say, biotech, very much in news, biopharma, very much in news, Higgs boson, in news at that time, then about nuclear technology. Similarly, in 2019, there was a question about India's plan for space station. India's plan for a space station space station. Then, how the government of India is protecting traditional knowledge in medicine, IPR, especially patenting by <coughs> the pharmaceutical companies, the question is on intellectual property rights. Then, how biotechnology can improve the living standards of farmers, biotech to improve the standards of farmers. You see, so biotech, space, nuclear and whatever is currently in you. So, the main exam, three questions in science and technology, that is what almost every year we are seeing, 40 to 50 marks, at the maximum four questions and 50 marks. It is very much manageable, simple things. Again, you see how biotechnology can help improving living standards of farmers you may not have to know much deeper in the biotechnology or similarly what is uh, how government is protecting the traditional knowledge of uh, knowledge of medicine from the patenting of pharmaceutical companies again basic understanding of intellectual property rights will be sufficient to answer these questions so these questions are not difficult which so what is the source so i already told the source Number one, 
NCRT 6th to 10th and also the biology a 12th book. I will talk about that where it clearly talks about biotechnology and other things. Very interesting at least 4 or 5 chapters of that I will talk about that. And then current news from newspaper like the Hindu or Indian Express more than sufficient. You need not get into too much of uh, you know pure science 6th to 10th and in fact uh, uh, if you look at the uh, you know our 6th uh, to 10th book and you know the content like you know fiber to fabric 6th standard ok fiber to fabric in 6th standard I am talking about 6th standard NCRT. So, your understanding on this fiber, fabric, ok, then uh, you know, water, air around us, sub, you know, it is there, then you know, uh, food from where, uh, where does it come from, ok, about food in biology, ok, in that, about food, then about body, see, very important our life science about our body, human body, ok, then uh, you know, not much of physics, even in uh, you know, uh, 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 the chemistry in 7th standard also acid, bases, salts, simple things, whether climate adaptation of animals to that, in biology also, nutrition in plants, nutrition in animals, nutrition, 7th standard. So, you just see, very simple, forest, waste water, basic things ok reproduction plants transportation so basically is not complex ones then in 8th standard crop production and management microorganisms so 8th standard microorganisms See, we should know because you know these days microorganisms are always in news the viruses microorganisms so please study then uh, metals and non-metals, coal and petroleum, right. So, NCRTs have so many good areas where you know you will get a general understanding of what is going around us. Even in the uh, ninth standard book, uh, if you look about you know a diversity in living organisms, tissues, okay, not much, but please go through that, not much of physics, chemistry and biology part is more important. So, where questions are being regularly asked, the same way carbon and its compounds, the life processes, ok. So, heredity and evolution, simple things, see if please focus on more of chemistry and biology. Not on electricity or light and all, not many questions are being asked these days. And in that also our environment, management of natural resources. Uh, in the twelfth book especially, there is a chapter on human health and disease, ok. I am just talking about the twelfth book, twelfth bio book, human health and disease. Similarly, strategies for enhancement of food production. Microbes in human welfare, microbes in human welfare, strategies for enhancement of food production, enhancement of food production. Then biotechnology, principles and processes. biotechnology principles and processes, biotechnology and its application. You see, NCRT is sufficient to write last year's question in agriculture and all, biotechnology and its applications, biotechnology and its applications. Then ecosystem, biodiversity and conservation, ecosystem, biodiversity and conservation.
conservation then environmental issues so this 12th book is very important so ncrt 6 to 10th then 12th this biology book most of the chapters whatever is coming in the newspaper as news especially related to this this i have already mentioned it space nuclear biotech nanotech is very clear only three questions in the main exam 13 to 15 questions including science and technology not at all difficult not at all difficult okay and then of course from our classes so we will be elaborately taking classes on science and technology the space technology the nuclear technology biotechnology it computer all these things will be covering in the class then life science will be separately taken care some of the everyday science from the 6 to 10 we will be covering in the class so this ncrt plus what we cover in the class it should be more than sufficient because only three questions three to four questions in the main exam and that too mostly which is related to the current affairs which is easily manageable you need not uh, worry about science because a layman's understanding of science a general understanding say if you are an officer if some scientist come and tell you something you should have some idea about that you need not in a recreate that you need not understand the in intricacies of science but a general understanding a layman's perspective you see if you have to talk about space technology you talk about a rocket basics you know the four stage vehicle engine is there fuel is there solid fuel when you say all these things basic understanding you need not make the fuel you need not make the engine you are not a rocket scientist we are civil service aspirants but having a general awareness about what is going nuclear technology the same way nuclear reactors various types of reactors say pressurized heavy water reactor boiling water reactor light water reactor right fast builder reactor when you say this name when you hear these names you should be having some idea about what is it that is the idea behind uh, you know our science and technology you need not get biotechnology again the principles the various processes basics what is stem cell how uh, you know when uh, bio the, what you call genetic engineering what is genetic engineering how is a genetically engineering genetically modified crops or genetically engineered products how is it different from maybe uh, you know uh, a hybrid variety basics ecology ecosystem all these aspects so it's interesting it's not that complex layman's understanding and a couple of areas if you could not understand don't worry we will memorize it we have to use it in the exam so it's not that difficult uh, but preliminary 13 to 15 questions can be expected some of them from the basics from the this ncrt books and uh, some of these questions are current related also so it's a mix of basics and current preliminary 13 to 15 questions main exam 50 marks not difficult we can easily manage again we will have specific areas we will be discussing these chapters very uh, you know uh, with uh, we, to ensure that even a non science student can easily understand we will ensure that you will understand it very well and you can write answers in the exam that will be our focus in science and science and technology so that's all about this